Hey YouTubers, this is Brandon here. Alright, this video is going to be about Turo once again. Just giving an update on progress and how things are going here. Uh, you, as an owner in Turo in Miami. Now, I had my reservations going in. You know, I was very hesitant about doing this overall. But, as I do with most things, I jumped in both feet first and tried it out and so far it's been successful got off to a slow start i mean i started in september of this year and when i initially started i only got one call well actually i listed my vehicles earlier during the year but i didn't get my first reservation until september after my first reservation i it cooled off for a month but now it i guess because it's the holidays and it's uh you know Christmas and New Year's and all those things it has really picked up I mean really picked up meaning that both of my vehicles uh, have have had multiple reservations and right now I'm at the car rental agency in Miami International Airport and the reason I'm here is not to pick up a car but to pick back up my car from a previous reservation uh, have the person meeting me here they're gonna drop off the car, we're gonna do the handoff. They hand it back off to me. I'm gonna document everything, take all the necessary photos, uh, let them sign off, check the mileage, check uh, check the fuel, make sure all of those things are good. Now, one thing I do want to say, make sure, please make sure that you check your vehicle. Check your vehicle thoroughly. I, I screwed up on one of my reservations. I mean, granted, it wasn't a bad, bad thing, but I mean, it's something I could have avoided if I would have just took the little extra time to thoroughly check it, check it out before I submitted that the vehicle was fine. Uh, and the sad part about it is, is when I checked the vehicle initially, I took photos of the damage and did not notice it when I took the photo or until afterwards i didn't notice it till a couple of days later and as you may or may not know that by then it is too late to report any damages or claims to turo in regards to your vehicle you have to do it within 24 hours of the vehicle being returned to you so check your vehicle thoroughly inside and out check under the hood check in the truck check your tires your rims Check for things that you wouldn't normally look for. I know everyone's first th first um everyone's first thing is to just check for dents. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna check for dents and I'm gonna sweep the car and go around the car and check real quick, make sure there aren't any major dents. But you also want to check for dings. You also want to check for scratches. You also want to check for interior cuts, stains, anything you want to check all those things and make sure you have all your points covered because if you have to file a claim you need to do it immediately in order to be compensated for for the insurance to cover it so make sure you do it but back to what i was saying i'm here waiting on the customer the rider to the driver to get back and the reason i chose this location instead of the airport uh two two reasons First is, the the renter asked if they could drop it off a little bit earlier, which I obliged. Uh, they have another destination that they're going to, which is opposite of what the reservation intended. So, they, I, I dropped it off at the airport where I picked them up at, handed off the keys at the airport, which I used the garage, and I know you guys are going to say, well, who pays for the parking? You're going to have to pay for the parking ultimately i mean but you're gonna make that back three dollars three dollars is nothing compared to what you're gonna make uh, uh, overall so spend the three dollars use it on your sun pass whatever pay for the parking use the parking garage area because you are not allowed you are not allowed to do any type of handoffs for car rentals in the airport 
meaning on the arrivals or the departures area they're not going to let you do that and you're not going to have the time to do that because you need to take photos of your vehicle you need to document you need to make sure that they sign the checklist and everything is done prior to it, which takes a little bit of time i mean five to ten minutes but still if the airport is busy and they have the supervisors out there they are going to rush you and then they're going to question you as to what are you doing so you to keep yourself from getting any trouble because I went through it on my first handoff at an airport, which was at Fort Lauderdale International Airport, where I didn't really get in trouble, but it was a hassle because they interrogated me. What are you doing? What company are you from? They wanted to take document, take pictures of my tag, of my license, and all of that stuff right there. So save yourself the hassle. Park in the parking garage. When, when the renters come, you know, beforehand, make sure you go over with them that you will be in the parking garage area. You will not be picking them up at the terminal. They are going to need to come over into the parking garage in order for you to do the handoff, which is great because then they have time to load everything. They have time to look at the vehicle with you and you don't have to go through all those extra, all those extra problems. So that's just my little tidbit of advice. Check your vehicle thoroughly and if you're doing drop handoffs at the airport handoffs to pick up at the airport use the parking garage areas or in this case at um for this handoff for well i'm picking up the vehicle you know i'm using the car rental agency uh complex which is free on the top level and i mean i'm making money off of it I mean, that's, isn't that the ultimate goal? To make some make some money off of I mean, granted, I am only renting out my vehicle, my Corolla for $45 a day. Now, with that being said, you know, you don't make, you don't take $45 a day. Uh, Turo takes their commission, their fee, and then you take the remaining balance. So out of that, for this rental, I believe I'm getting paid 152 and some change. Uh, and don't know if he went over mileage, which will be an extra. I don't know if he uh, brought, he's bringing it back with a full tank, which will be extra. So, I mean, you have all those variables that can come into play that can equate to more money in your pocket. So, take the time, check your vehicle third. Uh, Start off if you start if you start off doing it. Take my advice. Start off with your cost a little low, especially if you're here in Miami. Don't go too low. Don't lowball everybody. But start off low so you're reasonably priced, so people can actually take a look at your vehicle and choose to rent your vehicle. Because if it's high priced, they're gonna bypass it. Guaranteed. They're gonna look past your vehicle unless. They don't know any better. They're gonna look past your vehicle, and then you're gonna be you're gonna be waiting forever just to get that first reservation. So start off if you have a if you have a nice little car, Corolla, Sentra, something like that. Start it off charging low. Look at some of the other prices from other Turo renters, it, specifically Turo renters that have multiple trips for their vehicle. Look at their pricing. Set your pricing like that. You know, in that general area, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but in that general range that way you're competitive uh, you'll possibly end up getting more renters and then gradually start increasing your fee which is what I've been doing and it hasn't deterred people from uh, asking for reservations for my vehicles I mean I raised the price on my vehicles twice already uh, which I mean I started out at like 35 for the Corolla and 45 for the for the uh, Veracruz, and now I'm at 45 for the Corolla, and I'm at 55 for the Veracruz, and I'm still getting reservations. So take your time, do your research, make sure you make sure you choose the right insurance that fits you on the vehicle, and try it out. I'm going to leave my promo code, which I think is uh, going to be my email my promo code for Turo in the description so if you want to try it out just to get the feel of how it is as a as a renter go ahead check it out you get if I'm not mistaken $25 off 
your first uh, rental and then you can see the flip side of it and then if you want to try it out on the other side as an owner to make some little, little extra cash when your car's not being used or you have an extra vehicle that's sitting around the house hey put it to work make it work for you that's all i gotta say about it guys have a good day like share subscribe and i'll check you guys out later i will post some other updates uh as far as uh getting the vehicle back show you guys kind of a step-by-step -step of what i do when i receive the vehicle and uh when i hand off the vehicle so stay tuned for those videos also and catch you later